do not suffer silently your uterus contracts during your period time that's why you have menstrual cramp but for some women those uh, cramps are so strong that it really disturb daily routine activities if it is happening with you and if you are worried why it is happening there is one hormone which named prostaglandin that hormone is responsible to generate uterus contraction the more prostaglandins you have in your body the more higher chances that you will get severe menstrual pain and in my case also i used to have a lot of menstrual cramps it is completely natural if you have this situation but if these contractions are severe painful for you you cannot tolerate these kind of pains then what you can do let's talk about it sometimes those contractions are so strong that it can lead to uh, nausea vomiting and diarrhea as well at the time you should talk to your health provider what do you expect when you take appointment of your obstetrician first step is related to your pelvic exam she will put gloved finger into your vagina and she will also use speculum and so that uh, she or he can have a better look of your cervix as well uh, during that examination uh, they will also collect your cervical mucus sample and they can do further uh, test regarding the pelvic disease or any kind of cervix infection if you have uh, that is responsible to create a menstrual cramp if everything looks okay and, and still if you have a uh, severe menstrual cramps uh, then he or she will uh, suggest you to do step second you can have chances of developing endometriosis polyps fibroids or any kind of pelvic infection uh, sometimes few women has narrow cervix also that's why uh, you have severe menstrual cramp so at the time your obstetrician will suggest you to do ultrasound in which he or she will examine that you do not have any kind of fibroids polyps or endometriosis even if you are not diagnosed with all those kind of uh, infection or diseases then your health care provider will suggest you uh, to take uh, over the counter pain medicine which are really helpful uh, to relieve from menstrual pain here most of the women do a uh, one mistake and which i used to do as well uh, when you have severe menstrual pain uh, at the time we start doing any kind of home remedies or we take painkiller that's the biggest mistake we do more often if you get to know that you will get your period soon uh, just before one or two days of starting of your period start taking those painkiller medicine as well as if you want to do any kind of home remedies that would be really helpful to reduce the pain you can go for it but you need to start before starting of your menstrual cycle in my upcoming video i'm also going to talk about alternate methods home remedies and therapies that can really help to reduce your menstrual pain if you really like this content then stay tuned with me and subscribe my channel i will see in my next video till then bye bye